going back to school for the first time in many, many years. I had homework for the first time in many, many years. Wow. Hello, good morning. So I am on my way to the airport and in a few hours I will be in Boston and MIT or Cambridge and MIT. I am so tired. I did not get to sleep until around 3 in the morning because I was packing and then I was just, I wasn't able to sleep and then I got up an extra hour early to try to get some quick makeup on because what's gonna happen is so I got accepted to the lead at 20 MIT it's a it's a leadership in the digital age program and it takes place at MIT and basically a bunch of us disabled people got accepted into this program after like three different types of auditions and we're gonna learn how to be a better influencer and Stuff like that so that's cool I'm very happy to be accepted thank you here's the thing it is a travel and program day all at once so it's a lot of like quick 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 orientation starts at 3 I only end at 150 probably a little bit before then and then I'll have to rush to get an Uber or Lyft and then go to the hotel and get real quick get ready real quick and then go to orientation and then the reception so actually what I've done is I've already put my makeup on. I'm hoping it stays. Um, it got a little bit messed up and it looks more awful on camera than it does in person. <laughs> so yeah, and then I actually wore the dress that I'm going to wear and I have a blazer pack that I will put on uh, very quickly. But yeah, so I just try to get pre-ready as much as possible, but well enough that I don't get grossed when I land from the airport it, because if I wore a blazer and pants and all of that I get grossed so quickly so easily at an airport because I'm oh I always seem to be rushing and I won't have time to shower and freshen up so I thought a dress would hopefully be okay this program goes from today until Friday afternoon and uh, yeah Cool. I'm gonna be in college for a week. I don't know how much I'll be allowed to film, to be honest, because this isn't something that you film. But whatever I can get, hopefully we'll put in here. James Rath, you might know him, he's a friend of mine. If I have to take some clips from him, I'm gonna ask and I'm gonna put them in here if he'll let me. Let's do this. Why, hello, hello. This trip, okay, has been wild. So I was supposed to originally get to Boston just before two o'clock. So when I got to the airport, everything was so backed up. TSA lines went all the way to the entrance. It was absolutely horrible. And I knew right there and then that I was not gonna be able to stand it. And I would not be able to stand in line, even with my cane. It was going to be way too long. Not only that, but I was very likely to miss my flight because I had about an hour, hour and a half tops maybe to get before boarding it before takeoff whatever so so i went to request a wheelchair the process was painless except for the fact that i waited 50 minutes for a wheelchair and did not get one until literally 10 minutes before boarding so i kind of had 10 minutes to go through tsa when i reached about the 45 minute mark there was a woman a brand new woman who came to sit down she was a passenger and she looked at me she goes are you being picked up too and i said yeah i've been waiting about 45 minutes 50 minutes an hour something like that she goes 
are you serious? And I said, yeah, it's been a while, you know, they understandably went to go take the other people who had earlier flights. I completely understand. It makes sense. But yeah, I had to wait a very, very long time. And she goes, we're getting you out of that chair. We're going to get you to your flight. So when the guy comes back around and I'm supposed to be next, and I'm even looking at him like, come on, I'm next. Like, please, dude, I have 10 minutes to go. This woman looks at him and looks at me and says, you need to let her go. And I was like, this woman is coming to my rescue. She's like probably in her 30s, 40s, something like that. And she's coming to my rescue being like my mom. The mom I've never had on Mother's Day. I was like, oh my God, I love you so much. So finally, I got into a wheelchair. But here's the thing. They didn't have enough staff people to guide all the people that were going. And so what happened was this random ass guy is pushing it through security. He's not an employee. It's just some random guy with the you know, baseball cap on backwards, a hippie t-shirt flannel and jeans. And so, well, I kind of put two and two together that this was a family that was pushing me. An older lady goes, hi, my name is something, something, I don't know what. I think it was like Tracy or something. And she, I was like, hi, I'm Ricky. I was very confused as to why this random person was introducing herself to me. Put two and two together, it was her son that was pushing me and he actually turned out to be a really cool guy you know he was very helpful and he's like okay so can you stand do you need help and he was very loud because i think the employee guy was like by the way she can't hear you very well at one point this was really fun this is what made the entire way worth it and what made this random ass family uh push me worth it uh his brother was pushing his mom who was also in a wheelchair and he was brushing to get to the gate it went in a really fun way and the guy i don't even know his name but he i was like fast they're faster we must beat them and it was just a fun ride to the gate here's the funny thing though when we just finished with tsa i think or right before we got into the line to and we're next i got a notification that said our flight was late. <laughs> it was like the best thing ever and also the worst thing ever because that meant i was going to be late for orientation and yeah that happened because my flight ended up delayed two more times and I landed around three o'clock it took a while to get out and I didn't get to orientation something that was essentially college orientation until four o'clock so I felt bad <laughs> but it's okay it went well but I am sad that I will never see my new friend again I never got his name so we had orientation, we had a little group chat, introduced ourselves, we had a reception. I had the best interpreters ever. There was a guy named Paul and he was fantastic. He has such a great personality and you know what's the unfortunate thing? I'm never gonna see him again. I had him for tonight and that was it and I am still upset. I wish I could have him for the whole week, but I won't. I'll never see him again unless I come back to Boston for another event. But Paul, if you see this video, you are by far one of the best interpreters I've ever had. Thank you for what you do. So let's have a little tour, shall we? So this is your original walkway. I have not looked at this room yet, but I assume this is the bathroom and the... I can't get the door open. Oh my god, there we go. That's what... Holy moly. Thing. Oh, uh, that... Hello. What the hell is this? Uh, that's not gonna be a problem, is it? Um, I totally want to have a bath. This looks gorgeous. Look at this amazing, huge bathroom. And then we have one of the most gorgeous looking rooms I have ever, ever seen. We got this beautiful, beautiful bed. This is like the bed I make for my Sims. Beautiful artwork, beautiful whatever this is. Look at these light. This is a charming little desk with these chairs. That looks amazing. Look at this. And then we are on the 18th floor. Look at this beautiful. Hey, what you watching? What you watching? What you watching? What you like right up there? What you watching, sir? I want to know what you're watching. Looks good. We have this gorgeous view. I don't really know what all this is. Are they apartments? I'm not entirely sure. But oh man, this is quite beautiful. I mean, you can tell there's some construction and stuff going on over here. But if you look out this way. Oh, that's, that's stunning. That's really stunning. Suddenly, I am out with James, and we're gonna go get food, and we don't know where we're going. I just realized, comma, could we get Uber Eats for Postmates, question mark? We could. I mean... Also, in case you were wondering how James communicates with me on a regular basis, Still, all these years later. 
It works. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um. Period. <laughs> okay, we either walk five minutes in the cold, or we can do Uber Eats. I mean, it's not that cold. It's more like the wind is bothersome rather than like an Uber Eats and all that would probably take longer. Yeah. Well. Well, yeah, yeah, okay. There's still the time of making the food. True. But I mean, we're in Boston. We may as well, like, go. We might as well freeze our asses off. <laughs> yes. Let's just, let's just do that. I'm the one in a dress, mind you. <laughs> I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> yes, but you don't have that breeze coming under your ass. <laughs> Not like me. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna, we're going champions or something. You're all American diner type of thing. I'm gonna get a satellite because I'm the vegan. <laughs> um, I'm okay with that. What she doesn't know though is that I, it's an <laughs> all, all, even the salads. Hello, are white, blue even light. The salads are made of meat. So. Oh man. <laughs> okay. <Here you> <laughs> So things we found out, we walked outside, around, for no reason. Here's Champions, here's our hotel. We just, okay. <laughs> you can blame Apple Maps, yeah. Cool, let's go eat now, okay. Good morning, good morning, look at how gorgeous it is outside. Please, this is phenomenal. I did not realize or I forgot how bright it gets so early. Hello, Boston, Cambridge. It's just, holy crap, it's beautiful. Did manage to wake up early. I got my face done up a little bit because I don't know, I looked, I looked so dead. So yeah, we we're running a little late today. They said that we were gonna meet in the lobby at eight. It's 7.30 and James and I wanted to go get some coffee downstairs before we left. So I'm gonna go text him and see what's up with that. And then we're gonna start the day. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film, but we shall see. This is the schedule for today. Oh yeah, breakfast is at 8.30, so no, we're right on time, aren't we? So basically, we kind of start at 9 o'clock with some stuff, and that's today. So we have wrapped up. We basically get to do whatever we want now. James and I are gonna go get dinner along with Angel, Clark, and I don't know the other guy's name, but it was just gonna be me and James going to this vegan restaurant that I really wanted to go to, and I guess everybody's agreeing to come with, and if y'all hate it, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's raining, which is unfortunate. Uh, I don't want to get my hair messed up because when I come back, James and I will be filming some collaboration videos. Hmm. It seems like it might be slightly better at least. It's... Yeah. I mean, I'll let you be the judge of that, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hey, basic bitches! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel! Hi! Oh god, I can't. <laughs> Saving that. You what? Um... <laughs> okay, you, in all seriousness. You and good. It doesn't look too bad. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's... those lights are pretty good. What's up, bitches? 
Oh, are we doing it seriously now? No. Oh. <laughs> The great thing is, I can sit here and be farting, and she'll never know. <laughs> Fuck off. Your battery's dying. <laughs> you didn't get another one. Bye! Bye. story in regards to employment. I'm a 27 year old disabled deaf woman who also has chronic pain, got a cane and everything, and I've never had a mainstream job. I've never been able to do the typical high school life of working in a fast food place or anything like that. I've had many, many interviews and for years I didn't even get a single interview until I got an interview at Chipotle and needless to say, it didn't work out too well. And I, when I got that email, never got that second interview even. And I remember I went to one of those clothing stores at the mall and they were looking for someone to hire. Absolutely zero experience required. Their application was even just a little post-it note, nothing fancy. And so I was looking hopeful and they were looking hopeful until I wrote I'm deaf on the post-it and they kind of went, oh. Now I've told you my story and we all wanna find out yours. So if you need to share a moment of discrimination, make sure to use the hashtag hire this in your video.
in the same room now. I am no longer in Boston. I am in Jersey in a different hotel. Absolutely. We all graduated yesterday from the program. It was, if I'm going to be quite honest, while this program had many good things come out of it, it also had frustrating things come out of it. And I think I might have explained it before where we had accessibility issues coming from a program, a foundation that prides itself in accessibility and whatnot, it was a little bit frustrating to see that you kind of still had to work for it. But you know what? At the end of the day, I left and we all left with like a small little family within the participants and some of the professors, you know, it was really a good time. I made some really good friends. I, we already had James and I knew Sid because she was in a video of mine in the past, but now I have Angel, I have Sarah, I have Emily, who I was slightly familiar with through Twitter but we never really like communicated until this. Clark as well. Is there anyone else? Oh yeah and I've gotten a little bit closer to Alex Schwartz and Alex Watts and Daniel Jones from the Aspie world. It's really cool to have connections with people who are also disabled. I think out of that entire group I just mentioned one is abled but but one is able, she is absolutely wonderful. Oh yes, and I also already had Liette from Google. We worked together, so it was cool getting to work with her again as well. Would I do this again? Probably. Definitely if it was the same team. You know, we kind of ended up like a little new family, you know? And I'm looking forward to keeping in touch with some of these people, especially, and being able to work with them. I, ha I already have some video ideas for like one or two people, and I just, I want, I want to get things going a little bit. Uh, definitely there were things that could be improved on, and we have surveys for that stuff, but if changes were made, if things were better, I don't see why not. Actually, you want to see my certificate? Look at this. All right, we're, we're open, open, open sesame, please. On the left side, it comes with this group photo, and I look absolutely ridiculous. And then on the right side, our diploma, MIT Management Executive Education Rudiman Family Foundation, Massachusetts Institute of Technology Sloan School of Management. This is a certified that Ricky Pointer has successfully completed the executive program and ba 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 ba. It's cool. It's cool. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey. If you would like to help translate this video, I would very much appreciate it and I will leave a link down below so you can do so. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.